plot it very very carefully. Don't make a mistake about it. Plot y plus 2 is equal to x minus 3 whole square. I am not worried about the uh, shape of it. Of course, shape will be a parabola. I am worried about the coordinate of the vertex. So please mention the vertex coordinate in the graph that we plot. Yes, sir. Uh, when you are making the pass through origin, please check. Does origin satisfy it? Don't make it like pass through origin and all, unless until you are doubly sure that it passes through 0, 0. In this case, it doesn't. Acha, one more thing you do. Uh, on the graph, also show where it cuts the y axis. On the graph, wherever it cuts the y axis, just mark that point. Roughly, I don't want you to make a calibrated graph. Just make two lines like this showing x and y. Vertex you have to mark and also where it is cutting your y axis. Go step by step. For a person who is doing it for the first time, go step by step. Where it cuts the y axis? You just have to plot where it cuts the y axis. Roots is where it cuts the x axis. I am not worried about the roots right now. Guys, I am not worried about the roots of this quadratic. Means I am not asking you to solve this equation. I am not asking you. There is a difference between. I am not asking you to solve this. So don't be worried about the roots. I will come to that part later on. I am just asking you to plot y versus x. Okay, some of you have drawn it correctly, some of you have got muddled up. No need to get muddled up, just follow me what I am doing. I will go step by step. Now we say that this graph has evolved from the graph of y is equal to x square. That's why sometimes I call it as skeleton graph. So when I say what is the skeleton graph for it, it starts from here. Okay. Now these changes that you see, that is your x has now become x minus 3, y has now become y plus 2. This is something which we can take care of later on, but the skeleton, what we call in Hindi as dhacha, right? Human body has a skeleton, correct? And the way it is like, way the other parts are packed, that makes a person different from the other, right? But all of us have the same skeleton. So all these type of graphs come from a skeleton y equal to x square, which you know is like this. Yes or no? Now, go step by step. First, what do you want to do? First, you want to replace y with y plus 2 or you want to change x with x minus 3? Your call. Y plus Krishna, what's your call? Krishna says, let's do the transformation on x first. So, he is transforming or he is replacing x with x minus 3. So, according to Krishna, where should this graph go? 3 units to the? Three units to the right. So can I say the graph will now look like this? I'm drawing it in different colors so that you can relate to it. Okay. So this is the graph of this one. Okay. Now let me change the color once again. If I do y plus two, that means I am replacing my y with y plus two. What will happen to this graph? Down by two. See the rule, when you change y with y plus h, h being a positive quantity, graph will come h in its down. So the same vertex point will now come 2 units down, so it will appear like this. So this green one is your final graph. Now this vertex position will be what? From 0, 0 you took it to 3, 0. From 3, 0 you are bringing 2 down. So what will this position be? 3, comma minus 2. And how to know where it cuts the y axis? I'm not asking you where it cuts the x axis because for cutting the x axis you need to solve that equation which I don't want you to do right now. I will talk about it in a separate chapter with you called quadratic equations. Even though you have done it in class 10, there is still another quadratic equation for you in 11th as well. Okay. 
So in order to know where it cuts, in order to know where it cuts the y-axis, what do you put zero as? X. So the moment you put this as zero, you'll come to know that your y value will be seven. So this point here that you see is actually zero comma seven. Understood? Let's try to see whether we get this on GeoGebra. All of you may be having Facebook app and all in your phone, right? Anybody is having a having a graphing tool on their phone? I use it. I use it. See, this shows your seriousness. So please download graphing software called Desmos on your phone. Desmos, D E S M O S. Okay. Or on computers, if you are using a laptop, there is a very good graphing software or graphing site called GeoGebra. GeoGebra.org. Okay. For phone, you can use Desmos. If you are using a laptop or a PC, open to GeoGebra. GeoGebra can also be downloaded. On your system and kept, no need to operate it online. Uh, GeoGebra, if downloaded on phone, may be very heavy for you for the phone. So use Desmos for the phone, GeoGebra for the laptop or PC that you have. Okay. So let's plot. Desmos will look like this. This is the Desmos this thing logo. Okay. So when you open it. You see this kind of a interface, correct? And you can plot, you can type in any function that you want, and it'll plot it for you. Okay. But right now I'm showing you on GeoGebra. In GeoGebra you can do many other things as well. You can see locus also. You can see, you can shift the position of the points. Plot 
y is equal to x square. In fact, that's the question in your worksheet as well. y is equal to x square minus 8x plus 3. Now, how will you plot this? Factorize. It is not factorizable and we don't need to do that. Think, think, how can you do this? So, instead of directly telling you the change in x and change in y, what I have done, I have given it as a mixed format. How will you do that? Do you want to say completely this way? Do you want to say completely this way? Okay. 